Good morning. Let me ask a general question first. How many of you have moved your warehouse or your analytical environment to the cloud? How many are in the process of doing it? How many are thinking about doing it? All right. So what we're gonna talk about really is some of the value of getting, you know, really, ah. let, me, let me start this over. The value of really moving it to the cloud. You know, and what some of the challenges are and what people are getting out of that. I'm gonna skip over my bio, but a little bit, just a little bit about Datavail, who I work for. We're really focused on helping customers leverage data to drive business results. All right, we're a Microsoft partner, we're an AWS partner, we're an Oracle partner. So we work with all those cloud infrastructures and environments to really migrate data whether it's from a database perspective, an analytical perspective, or an application perspective. We've been around for about 13 years. We're based in Broomfield, Colorado. We've got over 1,000 uh, technical resources that are based in the US, Canada, Sri Lanka, India, and now in Bogota, Colombia. So we truly have an onshore, offshore model and can play the fall of the sun as well. We also very much invest in IP capabilities, what we call tech boost and service boost around monitoring, around the implementation, the service, um, help desk support, things of that nature that we've invested probably over $20 million of IP, you know, to help our clients. So that we're not coming to the focus green, we're coming with knowledge, with repeatable, with templates. When we talked about the cloud, simply migrating to the cloud with a lift and shift approach does not result in innovation, but it does add another level of complexity to operations. That's a quote from Gartner. And what they're really referring to is, people try to take and say, I'm gonna take my warehouse or my lake, I'm gonna migrate it to the cloud and put it in there. It doesn't always work that way. You have different technologies, different things that you need to think about, and really from an, an innovation perspective, why are people going to the cloud? People are going to the cloud for flexibility, to have innovation, to be able to do more with the data. When we look at what, what organizations want from analytics, self-service. I was in a presentation yesterday where we talked about that you know, with an insurance company. Everybody is trying to move to some element of self-service capability for the business users. Obviously, it has to be governed, it has to be controlled, but really looking at it from an advanced side of analytics. Integration of data, single source of the truth, that, whether you're on-prem or whether you're in the cloud, that's the same factor. You've got to get to that. You know, and then you've got to be able to govern it. You want to be able to get the right data to the right individual at the right time to be able to address those business questions. If you can't do that, you're not going to be successful. The data has to be structured appropriately, and it's all from a foundational perspective. You need to make sure your foundation is solid before you move it to the cloud. If you don't have the right models, the right capability, you're not going to answer the right questions, which is really what analytics is all about. You know, when we look at people from, from an analytical perspective, most organizations today are down at the bottom of the maturity curve, running the business, generating reports. Some companies generate thousands and thousands of reports, and the issue there is, what are you using those reports for? That's not moving to self-service. That's not getting innovation and value out of the data. You want to try to get up to really getting to innovation and productivity. And here's where we're talking about AI, machine learning, and there's been separate tracks about that. But really getting that market agility and differentiation, but be able to service your clients appropriate, and the cloud is going to help you get there. But again, you have to have that foundation. So what is really cloud analytics? Analytics is the process of gathering, cleansing, transforming, and modeling data with the goal of discovering useful information to support decision making. How many organizations, how many of you are actually looking to get your organization more to a data-driven decision making? I mean, that's nirvana, that's what everybody's trying to get to. How do I leverage data? How do I be unpredictive? How do I be unprescriptive to understand where I'm going and then I can leverage that data? So really, the goal is to make it accessible, useful, and actionable. What cloud does, cloud analytics does, it utilizes the modern cloud technologies. And the reality is everybody is moving to the cloud. 
people are getting rid of data centers. You know, most organizations are trying to look at that infrastructure and say, I don't need to provide that anymore. I can move to the cloud, I can pay somebody else to be able to service my environment, I have flexibility, scalability, and agility with that implementation. So why not move it to the cloud? Well, what does it do? All right, cloud analytics provides much more of a foundation for innovation. You can do brainstorming. You know, you can talk about incubating ideas, being able to do design thinking, you know, constant refinement of those ideas. You know, when you talk about machine learning AI, what is the real process? Build a hypothesis, go against the data with the hypothesis and continue to learn, continue to refine that so that you get the right results. And those results in turn around and give you market differentiation. Or if it's in the area of doing, you know, cross-sell, upsell clients, gives you new opportunities to be able to move that forward. So what we look at is really looking at what's the difference between cloud and on-prem, all right? And this is really around innovation. For those that have understand innovation, you're really getting to the point of, I have an idea. So I'm in an ideation step. I design from that ideation, I, from building that in the sandbox. People have heard the term minimum valuable product, MVP. That's really where you're innovating towards. So you're designing it, you're refining it, you're incubating that idea, and then you're automating it, and you're pushing that out to the market. Well, if you're on-prem, you know, it's all desktop or web browsing where you're doing the innovation. You're prototyping it, you're discussing it, and you continue to get to a repetitive side of the equation, but in the cloud, you've got emerging capabilities. You can bring prototypes out there. You can push it out to the cloud. You have a much more dynamic user base that you can work with. You've got metadata-powered collaboration, and you can really focus on high-quality analytics within the cloud. Based on a study that we did, all right, or based on IDC, companies are investing in the cloud. You know, everyone here is either looking at it, investing in it, or thinking about it. You know, so the cloud is here to stay. It's not going to change. We did a study of really looking at organizations and where they're going in the cloud side of the equation. Most organizations are going to a hybrid approach right now. Combination of on, prem, and in the cloud. Whereas the set in is really some, most, the next step in that was they're in the evaluation or planning stages. And I think that's representative of what you people were looking at. For those that said, hey, we're looking at going to the cloud. You know, everybody, there's only 10% of, of the sources that we went through that were in the cloud. 7% haven't started, but everybody is planning to move analytics to the cloud in the near future. It's here to stay. It's being adopted. There's been a lot of chats and a lot of conversation here at this conference about the cloud. You know, it's a matter of moving what you're trying to get to into the cloud, but what are the benefits you're trying to achieve? Scalability number one, performance. The ability of getting to faster deployment. Faster insights into the data, faster pace of innovation, cost efficiencies and enhanced security. Strangely, the cost efficiencies and enhanced security are down at the bottom of the list. It's really about performance and innovation and getting things out there faster. That's what everybody is trying to do in the cloud today. Thank you. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Dave. So if anyone has any questions for either Dave or Tom, ask away. And if not, thank you for your time. Yep. <laughs> Actually, Dave, I do have a, I mean, not Dave, sorry, Tom, I have a, a question for you. In terms of um, the, um, uh, uh, the bar chart that you had mm -hmm. um, in, with the emphasis of um, how uh, folks are either in the cloud, moving to the cloud, thinking about it, and don't plan, and of course, zero percent percent. Zero, not planning. So, it, does the in, um, the type of industry actually impact those numbers? Is there no. one particular industry? Oh no. No, it really doesn't. We went around it. I mean, we service both insurance, financial services, retail, CPG, really across the board. Everybody is looking at the cloud. There is not. I mean, we actually tried to slice the data from an industry perspective. Right. And yeah, there yeah. was really no difference. Okay. What about life sciences, pharma? 
heavily into the cloud right now. Yep. But again, not all life sciences companies are there yet. Right. Oh yeah. You know, <laughs> it's a matter of you know when you look at some of the some of the people that are moving to the cloud. What is one of their major concerns? Data security. Right. So, you know, you've got to look, you know, financial services is the same way. That's why a lot of when you look at most of them that are hybrid, mm -hmm. because some of them are worried about core data and they don't want to push that out to the cloud yet. Yeah. Even though there is a lot of security capabilities there for the cloud, yeah. but people are worried about data security. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Any questions?